speed up the change in society. But this is a quite a complex uh, way of looking at it. I'll show you some more about it. Um, and what we were looking for is how can we adapt to new governmental strategies? We are tired of making more and more laws and, and regulations. We need other ways of looking at a change in society. So this brought us a new strategy, and we call it steering on conditions. And just to be a simple biomimicry guy, uh, when you plant a seed, it doesn't help to shove the seed to and fro, and it doesn't help either to pull on the plant. It will not go fa faster. What you need to do is steer the conditions that the plant can grow. Give it enough uh, nutrition, give it enough water, give it enough sunlight. Uh, so what you need to do is give lots of attention to creating the conditions. And the plant will stop growing when in one of the conditions you do not do enough. One mineral can make the plant stop growing. So what you need to do is look at steering on conditions from a governmental point of view. And I hope at the end that you will have an idea of what that can be. Um, let's say uh, the effectiveness. I will be short on this because you have all read the book of Cradle to Cradle and all know uh, uh, what it is about. Um, but simply said, what we do now is the gray line, eco-efficiency, we make cars that uh, go much farther on uh, 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 a liter of gasoline than they did. Um, but still we make more and more cars and we still burn a lot of uh, gasoline. Uh, so this, this line will never bring you to zero percent, percent and will never bring you to a positive impact. So what you need to do is work on the uh, eco-effectiveness. Start where we are now and make things more, uh, lots and lots and lots better. Um, and this is a, a huge yeah, um, way of thinking. It's, it's, it's quite difficult because the chair where you are sitting on needs to change. But what are we going to change about that chair? That's the big problem. How are we going to make a chair that enhances the quality of the air in this uh, room? What can we do about the quality of the chair that it adds quality to your life uh, or your health? These are the questions that you need to look at when you want to work from effectiveness. And there are already a lot of products being made uh, from a cradle to cradle, cradle to cradle point of view uh, that people are starting to think that way and starting to develop their products in this way. But let's be reasonable. None of these products is really cradle to cradle. Uh, uh, we need to have a lot of development time to get there. So, what did we do as an enhancement team? Two guys within Dutch government, and we had uh, uh, 50,000 euros uh, to work with. And we had the uh, idea to change the country. Um, so what did we do was uh, start working a lot on education. Educate, educate, educate. Communicate, maybe. We went to all the ministries, and Michael Brown got, came along with us. Uh, uh, and in all the ministries, we did conferences and master classes. Um, we, we did it in the, con in the ministries. We did it with the ministries and their clients and their stakeholders. Uh, keep on talking, keep on talking, telling the story. Uh, and the story is very powerful in itself. Uh, sorry. Uh, and we tried to do to work on the steering and conditions, and we tried to give some impulses, unexpected. Try to do some unexpected things. Um, so what did we do? We tried to work with circles of transition, groups of people from different origin stakeholders uh, uh, in the chemistry or uh, uh, stakeholders who are working on area development in local communities and who want to try to work in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way. And these groups, we brought them together uh, and started also communities of practice with them. Start working together, 
learn, 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 and go to each other's projects and see what's going on and try to translate it to your own situation. Uh, we did some design competitions. The, the floating houses in Amsterdam was a, a huge success. It's just about building one or two of them. And we had 40 design groups uh, who uh, uh, entered this uh, competition. And uh, they were beautiful. Uh, we want to make them all. So we hope that uh, other people in the Netherlands will take these uh, designs to start working with them. Uh, we have a few cities that adapted cradle to cradle as a line of their basic policies on the development of the city. Um, especially Almere and Venlo. And Amsterdam always likes it when I tell that they are working on, on it too. But they are doing some details. Uh, uh, but, uh, when you look at the internet, look for Almere and Venlo, and then you will see what people are trying to do. And we tried some public-private partnerships. The A2, this is uh, the, uh, one, the, one of the two main infrastructures in the Netherlands. Uh, uh, six lanes, goes in the middle through the city of uh, Maastricht and needs to be underground, uh, needs to be build a new city uh, above it. And people want to do that in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way. So this is a, quite a huge endeavor, but they are at least trying it. Uh, and our corps of engineers, Rijkswaterstaat, um, even adapted cradle-to-cradle -cradle in the way they want to build the tunnel and the road. So this is very interesting to see what's going to happen uh, over there. Uh, but it's also very difficult <coughs> to get it done. Um, I will be fast on this. The transition. What we see as transition is the, the major change in society. And it starts with experiments. That's what you do here in the beginning, in the pre-development phase. You have a lot of experiments. You try, you try, you try. Some of the experiments succeed. Some will not succeed but try to get a lot of experiments going on. Um, so support people who want to try something, even when you think, I'm not sure whether this is the way to go, let them try. Uh, uh, and from a governmental point of view, give them the room to try. It's not all about money. It's more about the mental room or even the physical room uh, space to go on. Uh, and then it might be that you have a lot of experiments going on and a lot of people who see that they can be successful and then it's time to think about the speed up. This is the phase where we are now on Cradle to Cradle. We are now in the, uh, uh, the, the take-off uh, uh, phase just to try to make it from a small group of people working on it. Even in the Netherlands it's a small group. Uh, 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 and how can we broaden that and bring it uh, uh, to an explosion? And then you have the, uh, the acceleration, and then you might have the stabilization, and then we will start a new transition and a new way of thinking, the next step. Time, 30, 45, 50 years normally. And what we try to do is bring time back. This is the, 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 the thing we really want to try to do make the timeline as short as possible. And that that's asks for new ways of thinking from a governmental point of view, because the traditional instruments uh, and policy instruments a government uses uh, is based on the long-term timeline. And we want to have it fast. <coughs> so you have to think about a lot of things. Um, we have to think about uh, cradle to cradle in uh, what can you do, and we have uh, thought of a lot of uh, smart things uh, about that, uh, how to work on it. Uh, it's about perspective, it's about uh, experiments, it's about exploration of ideas, and uh, it's about um, getting people around who have the feeling for uh, the, 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 the minimum sing signals in society. You need to see the slow sing signals in society, the, the, the minimal ideas, the people who are working here around the corner and doing something. And you need to see it from London. 
uh, or you need to feel it in London that it's maybe a promising thing to do. So we don't work with huge companies also, but we also work with individuals. We also work with the small design teams who are working somewhere in the Netherlands on a bright idea and try to help them to get further. Um, and then uh, one of the things we did is don't try to change the whole country uh, at the same time. Start with working with the willing, coalitions of the willing. And don't, don't bother about the rest. Start with the coalitions of the willing. It works a lot easier. Uh, it's a lot more fun to work. Uh, and, uh, well, we were with two guys, so... <laughs> Uh, this is again uh, on eco-effectiveness, and you can see in this, uh, in this uh, slide, it's not just government thinking about it or science thinking about it. This is DESO, uh, uh, floor, uh, uh, flooring and floor tiles, carpet tiles, uh, and they have a long-term plan to change their whole company into a cradle-to-cradle -cradle company. And you can see this is not just about thinking about what you do with the product itself. It's also how do you implement it in your whole organization? How do you make connections with society? Uh, how do you get your clients uh, further? Well, one of the things we did, uh, and uh, the ministry didn't think this was a good idea. Uh, they said, this is, this is a shame of the money. Uh, don't do it, but we did it. Uh, uh, as making an information card around this question, what can Cradle to Cradle do for me and my organization? And, uh, uh, and this is what it is. I have got a few of them uh, over here. And you are lucky. We also made it in English, in Chinese, and, uh, <laughs> uh, because the two guys are also ch changing China. Um, uh, but uh, uh, we, are, uh, we have made them in uh, English, Dutch, Chinese, and we're working on the German version uh, because it's so smart to do something like this, and so easy. And it's just information. There's nothing new in it. When you have read the book, you will understand it all. There's nothing new in it. But people like it. People have it in their offices. Uh, people have it around and check, use it as a kind of checklist. And we made one just in Dutch uh, for the building sector. Uh, because in the building, uh, there is a lot to do on cradle to cradle and in the building sector in the Netherlands. Architects, uh, uh, contractors really want to try it and want to find a way to work on it. And then this kind of things help. And what we also see uh, is that a lot of people have creative ideas about how the new world can look like. Um, and I don't know whether this building will be reality, but the ideas are very good. Um, and what we also do every now and then, uh, because we are working in a governmental setting, so people want to check, uh, uh, and make balances, uh, uh, have scientists follow us work and whatever. Uh, <coughs> we don't like that too much because it costs a lot of time. Uh, and I think they can do better things than following us. Um, so what we made also, uh, from a sustainability point of view, I think you understand this is people, planet, profit. Uh, how can you balance people, planet, profit? Or 